Let me know when they all on, nephew. And you can, you know, you can grab the mic, move it up if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. For shows. Woo, this is gonna be. Yeah, it's yeah, just man. that gentleman drinking, man. All mm -hmm. I need now is me a nice, what's that thing? Uh, Perdomo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cohiba. Yep, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. You might know a little something, man. Take your back, man. Monte Cristo. Woo. Yes, <laughs> you got to focus? Yeah. yeah. Nephew. All right. I think it's about that time, man. But first whiskey. It's about to go down. It's your man DJ Silver Knight Party Fanatic. It's going all the way down. You know how we do it, man. But first whiskey. I'm sitting here with, man. I, it's so much I can say about this brother. Great dude. You know, ATL legend. Hip-hop legend. I don't know if he feels comfortable, comfortable or uncomfortable with the word legend. But it's my brother, man. All around great individual. My man, my brother, Timo Goody. Hey, what's happening? BJ Silver, not in the building, baby. Thank you, man. What Thank up, though? Oh, man, it's a lot going on right now. I'm very, very happy to be here. I'm yeah. honored, man, to be a part yeah. of your podcast. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. It's a great thing, man. I got a new drinking partner, man. Yeah, hey, can, you can are a new drinking partner. New drinking partner. There new is. cigar partner. My partner. I didn't know you, you smoke cigars. I do, man. Real. Okay, okay. I'm, well, I have an acquired taste. Yeah, for excellence. Yeah, yeah. So but look, you know. we about to get into some old stuff. Okay. Uh, some new stuff. Yeah. Some future stuff. You know it. But first, but first, but first, whiskey. Hey. <laughs> Where my girl Am at? It's okay. I'm gonna have to pour it. So this, let me tell you what we're working on while we're waiting on Am. This is my man Evan is in the building with uh, George Dickel Tennessee whiskey. All right, mm. recipe number twelve. Wow. They they highest selling most most selling whiskey mm. nine to 13 year mm. right yeah 90 proof say it ain't so 90 proof Woo. okay all right and they promised me that you know they're gonna uh give me a bottle every show mm. and take me out and let me film at the distillery Amazing. i think i made that last part up <laughs> 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 but my boy evan is in the building man thank you very much we met we actually met yeah yeah we go matter of fact you want you want to pour it be be the official the first can you can you crack the first one for us? My man Evan. Hey Am, Evan's gonna pour the first one. But I still want you over here. Be it's come the best, close. It's the best the best part of my job. <laughs> get you guys on the go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little sake cups here. Yeah, man. Do we need do we need different glasses? No, no, That's no, good? No, okay. No. Okay. Any glass oh he do. and he was and he was not stingy with the with no, the, no, no, the shot. No, no, no. Woo! You can be standing with my. No, no. <laughs> you fact, you got have, time. Have you. you have one. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, my man Evan. What's up, man? What's up, brother? Good, 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 good to, to see you, man. you, man. And we met on Instagram, man. Wow. He, he, I was, I was posting a bottle, and he was like, man, you got to show the, the whole bottle, show the whole tag, and we just got a dialogue going. Mm. Met up the other day, had some drinks, some food, and man, we we best friends now, man. Yeah. So what's Silver up? here had one of our single barrels of whiskey. Yeah. So yeah. What we do a lot of times, if you want to, you can come to the distillery and pick out an entire barrel of whiskey. A lot of liquor stores uh, do this in little five points down the road here. Uh, I got you, I got you. a 13 year old barrel. Okay. And that we then bottle and then they have it in stores and you can buy a barrel. You can only get it there. It's the only yeah. their barrel. You yes. can never, yeah. there's no blending. Yeah. It's only, you'll one time only. So how yeah. big is a barrel? Like what? 53 gallons. 53 <laughs> gallons yeah. of whiskey, y'all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh about man. pounds full. Hey, but first, whiskey. Oh yeah, excuse me, it's all right. Yeah, I can't say yeah. <laughs> I gotta have sex. I can't have seven years on, of bad sex, man. <laughs> is that what it is? That's what they tell mm. me. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. Thank you, my brother. We Evan. don't want to. We don't want to uh, test it. Woo! Really. Not at all. Oh Jesus Christ! It's very smooth. Thank you, man. We, well, you you got to finish it. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Always drink responsibly. Of course, drink responsibly. We gonna call an Uber after this. Well, I'll let you guys get to it. You get into it, baby. Get Thank you, Evan. Boy, well, Evan, right there, man. Evan, George Dickel. Yes, We're gonna put this. That George Dickel. Right there. I, you know what? Why I fell in love with George Dickel. First of all, it is a great whiskey. It is. But when I first saw it, we were at a at a whiskey bar, drunk, me and my friends, and cracked up off the name. <laughs> and so <laughs> I I was set for life. I was set for life, man. 
So, man, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. You've been in the game. Matter of fact, let's, let's go back. First album, Soul Food. Okay. Just hit 25 years. Yes, it did. First of all, 25 years, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, man. Look, man, it's so honorable. It's such an honor. Peace and help love, yourself now. Jump you, in there. Jump in there. Jump in there, man. See, Don't. I'm going to tell you, really, man, with that first album, it was done so organically mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so such and from such an innocent place because mm -hmm. we hadn't had but a little bit of success with Outkast's first album. We were all introduced on Southern Players right. and Cadillac That's right. Music. That's right. Me and Cujo. You had a couple. And, actually, two. Uh, CeeLo was on one, and then, then the mob was on. CeeLo was another. actually on both of them. Right, well, right, like, it, right. It, People don't say it, but CeeLo actually sang the hook on Call of the Wild that me and Cujo right. rapped on. That's right, that's right, you that's know? right. And then that was our first effort as mm -hmm. far as a professional mm -hmm. uh, stance as far as hip-hop artists was concerned. Man, we had done several songs before then. People knew us. We were buzzing in the street. But was Lumberjacks was, before? No, we were, when we first started, mm -hmm. we're going to take you to the beat from the beginning. When mm -hmm. we first started, me and Cujo were Goody Mob. Okay. And we were named Goody Mob. If you go to Drink Champs, mm -hmm. check that out. Mm -hmm. See, Lord tell you mm -hmm. about his big brother, Big Lim. Okay, yep. Big Lim yep. grew up in the neighborhood. He created Lim, this, Lim do the hats. this hat. This hat. Yeah. I got on right now. Yeah. So. And he big for real. He big. Yeah. <laughs> to my four. I met Lim five, a couple times. Six, good, good people, man. Yeah, man. So he's super good people. But then mm -hmm. after he named us that, me and Cujo started recording under that name. Mm -hmm. Good Mom. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we had recorded about 13 records. We had been shopping it with different record labels. You know, all, all we could do, we were kids. We were 18 years old, you know, so we young, didn't know. Young, young. Yeah, we were real young. So we were trying to shop it, going to the Jack the Rapper, going to the Daytona Beach um, Black Weekend. They had College Jack Black the Rapper, Weekend. that's what's up. We were just trying to get <laughs> yeah. the music, get our faces out of the high level. We didn't know. We didn't have a blueprint like right, the kids. Right, yeah, you're trying, to, you know trying to figure it out. Yeah, trying to figure it all out. So, oh, man. The way Ooh. we got to be Lumberjacks, some guys we graduated with, they um, ended up coming into a lot of money. And they bought Diamonds and Pearls, mm, Club mm -hmm, Diamonds and Pearls, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. later became the second location for 112 back in the day day. You wow. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, so they bought the club, wow. man, and we, we were like, man, if we get with them, at least we'll have a platform to perform and, get, mm -hmm. and be around a lot of stars and folks to come in. We kind of, maybe we'll come up on a good deal. So, man, i never forget that freak Nick he has, they had so many people come through that club that, that weekend. Mm -hmm, From mm -hmm. Tupac mm -hmm. to you name it, Too Short. That was the spot. That was the mm -hmm. spot. Allen Iverson, like everybody, I mean, Jermaine Dupree, everybody came through that, that spot. So me and Cujo were performing. They had a bunch of artists performing. We got up there, we rocked the house with mm -hmm. brand new music nobody had ever heard. We rocked it. Everybody came up showing us love. Sure, cut it was all off. good. Um, Pac came upstairs, and I never forgot to tell this funny little story. Rest in peace, homeboys. Yeah, man. Yeah, the greatest, you know man. What I'm the greatest. The greatest. And One of the greatest. Pac, my homeboy King Bean, we rap about on our first album. We was all sitting upstairs. We, we were just, we, he was looking for a blunt. We had some, mm -hmm. uh, no, actually, we had some weed and some blunt. We were good. Tupac came in the building. He was like, hey, man, yo. Anybody got a blunt, man? Anybody got a blunt? So we were down our last blunt. I told him, don't do it. Don't get it to him. You know what I'm saying? He cool and all, respect, but don't get it to him. Man, I'm finna get his blunt to pop. Man, I'm finna get his blunt to pop. What's up, pop? He said, what's up, man? He said, here you go. Gave him the blunt. I said, damn, man, why you do that? He, go, he said, because he got that cuss. He gonna let me hit it. Back then, Kush wasn't like it is now. Right. It's everywhere now. Right. But back right. then it was Reggie right. Miller right. with the seeds, the stank, and all that old right. stuff. On up to every every other person coming out of California might mm -hmm. bring a little bit to it mm -hmm. now to just let mm -hmm. us taste mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. But right. man, Pop came, my partner walked over and Pop, Pop, you gonna let me hit that blunt? He said, boy, I sure I wish I could, man, but this that cut that chronic. That's what it was. <laughs> this that chronic. Man, my partner, B, that's what I did. I laughed so hard. I said, dang, B, you see what you did? You that gave my blood away. He ain't going to let us hit it, man. But it was still love, man, because I ended up getting the opportunity later on in life to meet Pop. Yeah. And it was yeah. on, on a different platform. That's and, right. And it was a lot of love and respect given yeah. 
which was cool, you know. Yeah. So, but um, yeah. Goody Mob, yeah. man, started with me and Cujo Goody. We went to Lumberjacks, then we came back together as Goody Mob okay. over at Organized Noise right. Studio. Right. Me and Joe was just going through there to get a, a, a record or two from them, some production, just to complete our album. Mm -hmm. And Rico heard us rapping. He was like, man. If y'all wait, I might have a deal for y'all. We were like, man, we ain't waiting. We got, we need a record now. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. Ray was like, come on, man. You know, we, we went in the studio with Ray. We recorded one, then we recorded another one. But we just didn't feel like that was that sound we were looking for mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. them at right, that time. Right, right. So we just waited around. You know, said we gonna wait on the opportunity because Outkast was like, we'll let y'all rap on our record, man. Y'all boys the truth. We said, cool, man. I'll never forget one evening. Uh, they called us to the studio. We came in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we laid that record for for Southern Playlistic. Man, mm -hmm, the boys mm -hmm. had to deal with LaFace. Right, right. You know, and things would start rolling, man. And from now on, Ian Burke is the reason why we were all four members. Ian, of what's up, Ian? Okay. What's up, Ian? Yeah. King Ian, I'm, I'm going to tell it like it is, yeah. man. Can't nobody say it. This ain't how it is, bro, bro. That's what's up. Ian Burke came in and said, You know what, y'all? LA want to sign all of y'all. He said, wow. Man, he said, But, um, we don't know what to do first, you know, Lumberjacks or CeeLo or mm -hmm, Big mm -hmm. Hip or like we try to figure out what to do. So what we, I, what my idea is, let's all four of us go in, in, in as Goody Mob. Y'all four That's members, right. we be Goody right. Mob. That way you can get the album done as Goody Mob. You can put your solo efforts mm -hmm, on that mm -hmm, record mm -hmm. and then you can bounce on to whatever you want to do after that. Right, right. Man, Smart we, idea. It was so much, <laughs> hey, it was a brilliant idea. Yeah. <laughs> and it was such a brilliant idea that it became more than just a collab put together by Ian. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. We became brothers. Mm -hmm. we, we, mm -hmm. we we worked the road together from the bottom to the top. You know what I'm saying? Nice. So nice. It, it, it ain't this ain't no one hit one the overnight success That's type right. thing. That's you right. know what I mean? We've been doing this twenty five years, bro. That's you crazy. You know, and it's a blessing that we are able to still continue drop, drop, to do it. it. Hit that, hit that hey, one more time. 25, 25 years. Twenty five years in the game and I'm still got more years. energy than I had when I was twenty one. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you. Let me let me tell you my story real quick with uh Let's with Soul Food. So you know, came out. I was in high school. Okay. I had an '84 Honda Accord that had been passed down from my mom. She bought it brand new in '84. I was in high school in the '90s, so she passed it down. At this point, you know, it, it'll sometimes you know the reverse might go out in that motherfucker. It didn't matter, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but we still rolling. Okay. All right. I had hooked up an amp in the back. Mm -hmm. Had I had the the big remember the big house speakers? I know that life. Yes, sir. Plugged that up. That was sitting on, on the back seat. Mm -hmm. Had a tape player, but I had the, the conversion because I had the, the CD, the portable CD player. One question for you. Hit me. Was it bumping? Bumping. That's all that matter, bumping. man. You know and I wore soul food out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wore so Probably couldn't get past thought process. Probably played that a million times before, wow. before I even... Bro, the first time I heard thought process, I'm in the car bumping. Like, wow. oh my God. Because remember, boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Wow. Bro, 84 Honda Accord. Broke down on me every other week. I didn't care. Man, that's love. In man. there. I, that's love. In there. Mm -hmm. So, man, listen. I don't really do a whole lot of questions. Because it's not, you know, this, this podcast, like me and you talking, I already told you that we eat, we, we kicking it, we drinking. Matter of you know fact, we're going to do another shot in a minute. Let's do it. I'm with it. You with it? Okay. With it. Hey, Am, we need you. <laughs> Y'all got a, uh, a BET on Sun coming up? We do. Okay, tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's funny, you know, I guess how they how they put it out, but mm -hmm. I always look at everything got, done on God's All time. this is cooked sushi, by so we doing cooked sushi because Timo don't mess with the 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 uncooked, right? Actually, um, uh, I don't. All right, but <laughs> but so these are modifications. Like that's my favorite one over there. What is that one? That's the Super Crunch. Super Crunch. Super Crunch is off chain. Now you can you, you can use the chopsticks or you can actually just grab it. Is how you feel it. Well, you know, team off um, <laughs> uh, overseas, you know, I, Oriental. <laughs> I good with it. <laughs> so a BET on song, man. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it actually. Hey man, oh yeah. So it's been about two years now since we shot it. Really? Really. That's how fast time flies, man. It's been almost two years. And they're about to release they, it this year. And they just releasing it this year <laughs> with, with all the other extra stuff we got going wow, on now. Wow, that's perfect timing. You know, it's perfect timing. I yeah, can't wow. complain about that, man. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they came to us with the opportunity, and we thought it was perfect timing at that time. Mm -hmm. Which everything ain't on our time, it's on God's mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. You know, so like I said, it's, it's really perfect timing. I'm really excited to see it. We kind of 
spilled the beans on our life. You know, mm-hmm. we, we told everybody what we were from and where we were all mm-hmm. about. You know, I ain't never claimed to be. I ain't never claimed to be from the project because I ain't from the project. But I right. tell you one thing, I'm about that action. You know what hey. I'm saying? And I'm about that money. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm about that money, man. That's what it's about, getting to the money right nothing now. Nothing wrong with that. Being an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. you know, trying to come up with, with ways to make money and continue business. You got a dance studio. I got a dance studio that's popping right now. You've had a dance studio for a minute. Ten years. This is our ten-year reunion, y'all. Hey. It's, and it's you just a, had something, like, really big happen. Sky over, Dance Academy. Uh, yeah. Sky you just dance had something really Academy. big happen over All Star. I did. This weekend, right? Uh, it's been about a week or two, maybe a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Uh, this young lady uh, that goes to our studio by the name of Jalea, XOXO Lay, underscore XOXO Lay on um, Instagram. IG. Mm-hmm. She came up she with like a, right yeah, now, too. came up with a little dance, with a little dance, you know. So, you know, my daughter had been doing those dances forever, so it mm-hmm. really wasn't too exciting to me. But what made it exciting was another young lady, um, Decided she was gonna put it on her in a little a white girl. Mm-hmm. You know, she was mm-hmm. big time. I don't know her name, mm-hmm. but I know she had but a she, lot of she followers. She was popping, right? She did the same dance, and people misunderstood and thought that she was the one that created the dance. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, but when in actuality, I don't think she was saying she created the dance. I just think she, she just did was it. doing it. She, she was, was excited doing it. doing it, right? But so, but didn't give the she didn't get the credit, right? So the community was fighting for XO XO Lazy. Well, they want they were like, no, nah, no. She didn't come up with that dance. Right, so right. K-Camp got a whiff of it because it mm-hmm. started buzzing so much and invited us over to the studio this past weekend, this Friday. So okay. I brought my daughter, which is her best friend, and uh, uh, Jalea, mm-hmm. who went over there. And, you know, he, he treated them with love and respect and kindness yeah, like K-Camp a big brother. Dope, dope. He brought mm-hmm. us in the studio. We gave him a tour of the whole studio, gave him a uh, teddy bear, gave him a T-shirt. I said, man, that's love, man. Mm-hmm. That's a stand-up guy. Yeah, let me give him a little applause for that. Most definitely. Yeah. And then K-Camp. he said, you know what? Let's shoot this. Let's shoot a little, a little quick video and post it on Instagram mm-hmm. of us of you doing the dance right here. Cause he got a bunch of followers, of yes. course. Yeah. Yeah. Soon as he posted that dance with my daughter and Jalea doing it, that thing went straight viral, man. I mean, it wow. went from just a, a buzz. Wow. Good morning, America's calling. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres calling. Oh yeah, uh, you know Ellen love game Ellen called. love dances, man. I like Ellen. They put this together. Ellen, call bro. me. Please call me too, Ellen. I do a dance. <laughs> you gotta do a dance. I need what? to come talk to you, update with what I got going on. <laughs> Some big things for 2020. Turn 2020 around. That's Timo Good birthday. 0202. I was just, I, I was, I was getting there, man. Yeah, yeah. I was getting to your birthday, man. Yeah, man. Well, That's good. what's up, though. Just turned 21 again. Hey, man. nothing wrong with that. Mm. Now you and uh matter of fact you and Big Boy y'all right neck and neck like day before each other. Mm-hmm. Day- Big Boy the first, I'm the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. Happy, happy birthday. Got all kind of sound effects in here, Timo. Yeah. Got a bunch of sound I love it. <laughs> it's the stuff, bro. I'm trying all right. to tell you. So what do you think about that? That's super crunch with the what's that one? With cooked salmon. Mm. I never had it with a cooked salmon, so I'm 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 curious myself. Hey, that's amazing. All right. That's so, amazing. So, um, did you do the crab ragoon yet? I have not tried it yet. I see you marked out one of them wings. Yeah, I, I, had I to. see. I see a dead body over I'm there. A chicken man, bro. You All know. right. Did you try the? Sound. This is uh, shrimp tempura. No, that is the spider. Oh, this is spider. You. This is what you want. Okay. All right. So anyway, oh, that's good. That's good. All right, uh, keep going. Let me update y'all. On this. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. the young lady attends our dance studio, Sky Dance Academy. Mm. Um, it's an awesome room. opportunity for her. She blew up overnight. It's called an overnight success type thing, but we appreciate it right now. I'm so That's happy amazing, for her. Man. I'm happy for our dance studio. We got so many new opportunities. I can't share all of them with y'all mm-hmm. right now, but the next time I come do Silver Night mm-hmm. podcast mm-hmm. number two, mm-hmm. we're going to update y'all on oh, what it's gonna we be got. Part two. It's going to be, I'm talking about this. What we got going will take everything we got to extreme levels. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm going to keep quiet on it because I'm praying on it. I'm, I'm, I don't want to put the energy out there right now because I don't want the wrong folk praying against me. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? But it's That's coming. Right. Also, coming up for 2020, mm-hmm. T-Mo Goody okay. had an opportunity. I like to explain how all opportunities came so okay. people see you know, some of this Matter stuff Matter of fact, is I feel like this is going to be a, the, the time to take another shot. Go ahead and pour us up. It is. Like, I can feel it. It's about to be big. It's big here, y'all. It's I, big. I can, I can smell what you're cooking already. Oh, it's big. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> oh, it's big. 
Go check it out, bro. Ah. This is big, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I guess how to Yeah, play. I love it, man. All right, hit me with it. Hit me with so it. So check it out. So mm -hmm. this past November, mm -hmm. Goody Mob was blessed with the opportunity to present um, T.K. Kirkland mm. the Red Fox Award. Oh, so wow, wow. The Red Fox Award. So wow, we presented wow. Him yeah, it was awesome. Wow. It, was, it actually took place in our own backyard at the Crow's Nest. So Yo. It had What's up, Mr. Crow? Yes, sir. Salute. That, that's, that's like my second dad, man. I love Crow. That's, that's, that's what? They threw, and he threw all wow. the way down with the food, man. They had the, but the ocean person, the vegetables, Ooh. and the yellow rice. Oh, man. They snapped all the way around the board. But anyway, mm. we were doing the red carpet, and, um, the person that put it together is related to Red Fox. Okay. By the name of Diamond Gladney. He related to him. So he he was like, yo, uh, man, can y'all just say something, whatever, you know, about any experience y'all may have had watching Red Fox or anything y'all got, just to say something positive. Or we just mm -hmm. want to hear something from y'all. So CeeLo and them said something, and then Gip said something, and then Cujo said something. Then I came in last, and I was like, you know, I got a funny story. My brother-in-law, when I first met him, used to always say that I reminded him of Red Fox. Okay, okay. You know, it's, and he's always said, if they ever do a Red Fox movie. You gotta call you. You got to okay. be in the movie. Okay. So that was just what I was saying. That was the truth. I just said that. Less than, less than a month late. Well, really it was right on time. January 1st, 2020. Okay. Diamond Gladden hit me up and asked me would I play his, 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 his grandfather. Come on now, come on. Come on now. He asked me what he what I play in the stage play in Come Las Vegas, y'all. So the end of July, early August, T Mo Goody will be playing Red Fox, the life of is coming, y'all. So y'all check it out, man. Check That's it. what I'm talking about. Come to Vegas and rep with You hit it from all sides, man. All sides, man. We can't stop with this thing. And wow. to add to the wow. to the to the to the superstardom thing we got going on with 2020, y'all, we ain't letting up. Tiger Woods, I need to see you, man. Okay. I'm the greatest hip hop golfer to ever live oh, right now. Okay. It ain't another golf. It ain't another person in the hip hop game can say they can even come close to playing as good as me. It's one other out there. It's uh Scarface. You okay. Know, I know Scarface. He, he can play. He, he can, can play. Down. I hear, but I, I want to see it. You know. I, so, so you is this, a, is this a challenge to Tiger Woods? I challenge Tiger. I really challenge Scarface. Okay. I just want to play with Tiger Woods. Challenge Scarface. <laughs> I and wanna, then whoever the winner from that got to play Tiger Woods. Ooh, man, if we can make that happen. <laughs> or Michael Jordan. I hear he's pretty good, Yo, too. I, I hear Mike's pretty good. I want to see it. I'm I'm great at putt-putt. Is there, <laughs> is there putt-putt still around? It's top golf now. I'm but great at top golf. I'm going to tell you what's good about that, though. By you being good at putt-putt, <laughs> in the game of golf, mm -hmm. you drive the ball for show, mm -hmm. but you putt the ball for dough. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> It's most beautiful as you can put the ball in the my, air. I almost spit my water out, dog. <laughs> I almost spit. I, I would have ruined all this equipment. Ah, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost over. But that's the truth, man. You know, so people make it look look good off the drive. Yeah, yeah. But if you can't put sink it in the hole, that's right. And, and four strokes, three strokes, or five strokes, yeah. or part five. That's it. You wasting your time. You know all what right. I mean? So. Well, we got to do a. We got first of all, we got to. Do this but first whiskey to this this Red Fox news, man. Oh man, let's do All it. Right. Cheers. Let's do it. Cheers. My brother. Oh, excuse me. My brother. <laughs> man, I made a real offer. We'll make sure. We'll make sure. Hey, we look at eye to eye, right? Hey, touch eyes. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. It's gonna get hot in here in a minute. We can handle it, man. It's good. Ooh. It's good so look, gentlemen drinking. We go gentlemen drinking. We gonna run out of line. Tell me if I miss one. <laughs> that, 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 that George Dickel, that. <laughs> Hold on, kill me. Mm -mm. All right, Soul Food. Yes, sir. Still standing. Yes, sir. Uh, there was a greatest hit somewhere in there. Yes, it is. Uh, World Party. Yes, sir. Uh, Age Against the Machine. Yes, sir. Uh, one Monkey. Yes, sir. Um, did I miss one? Well, you didn't miss one, but you got one on the way from Goody Mob. We actually okay. going to the studio today. That's After right, you record. That's right. You, 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 yeah. We have a new record record deal with uh, a label I'm not going to discuss right now, but they gave us an awesome opportunity. The internet based. Yeah. So, um, Which is where it's at right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So they're, they're actually uh, about to put our record out this summer. So, so when you get ready to shoot the videos, July. make sure you call me. 
You know we will. You know I was in one of your videos. I know it. You remember? You remember um, which one it was? Yeah. Which one? Let's see. Let's it see was um, 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 play your flute. <laughs> yes, sir. I was gonna see if you remember. See there? I played. I played. He, played he took me for granted. So he thought hey, I hey, or hey. <laughs> Listen, I, was, I thought I had him. Yeah. yeah, man. I played it. We matter of fact, we shot not far from here off Boulevard. We did. Remember? We did. In, in those projects. I sure do. That's right. And Maria Maria Moore mm -hmm. played it too. You know, she's on Magic. Wow. You know, and I DJ on Magic. That's crazy, it. ain't it? I see it. I play. Yeah. I play the cop. I play the cop, man. Yes, sir. I had to arrest her because she killed. She killed her. Uh, y'all just go see it. Play your flute. That was a dope record. It was. It was a fun time. Um, yeah. A very uh, learning time for Goody Mob with yeah. the absence of our brother CeeLo yeah, at that yeah. particular time. Yeah. But it, it it gave us you know insight on who we were mm -hmm. as artists, mm -hmm. and it gave us a new a new mission. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? Um. <clears throat> Good thing about it, you know, a lot of people were thinking that this, the album and the song was really aimed at degrading him. At low right, right. You know, but it but it wasn't. And I, and a good thing about it, we were able to explain ourselves to mm -hmm. the, to the world mm -hmm. and to him. Mm -hmm. So he knew, bro, you are bro to the end. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Of course. Please trust that. You know, this ain't got nothing to do with trying to take you down. This guy was something to do with trying to big us up, trying That's to right. motivate us. That's right. You That's know? right. So uh, big up to that situation, but also, yeah, we can't. It just don't stop there, Silver Knight. Check the shirt out right now. So, so far, I'm, you know, you know, I'm about to be be mad with you. Something. I just knew I was going to, and we're going to talk about what's coming up. I knew you was going to bring me a, 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 a hat, some of the new gear. I seen, I seen y'all posting the new gear. You ain't bringing brother nothing. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to call Cool Joe because I, I know he be posting. When I'm I tell you, I Cujo. feel like trash right now, man. You forget. I was so engulfed with trying to make sure I got here on time when I came. And we've been talking. We've been talking all morning. <laughs> we've been talking probably about. I had my kids. Oh, it's eleven o'clock in the morning. By yeah. the way, if y'all didn't know, we are doing shots at at eleven eleven thirty in the morning. <laughs> and we, me and him been talking since like eight o'clock. Man, since eight o'clock. Now that's a good segue because y'all got a new tour. <laughs> Goody Mob Twenty Five. And y'all coming here to Atlanta on the, on April 20th. Mm -hmm. All I know is I need to be up in the building. 420. 420. What? <laughs> say less, y'all. That ain't what they say. <laughs> yeah, 420. So you got y'all got about what? 20 dates? Give or take? We got a we got a little bit more than that in all okay. coming up, man. Okay. Which is a blessing. That's amazing, I'm very thankful, man. man. That's amazing. 25 years later and touring. 25 years later, making more than we did when we first started, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and no more than we did when we first started. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. we know how to keep it this mm -hmm. time. You know, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I was young and dumb. We, we were Going. balling out, balling out of control. But, but why not? You know, why not? why not? Who knew what we were gonna, I ain't know I was gonna live this long. I'm yeah. so thankful to be able to live man, this it's, long. Man, it's people, man. But I didn't know I was gonna make it out of my 20s. It, it's people going, we, we done lost so many people at the beginning of this this year. This year is crazy. This year is we crazy. We just lost somebody yesterday, man. I don't know if you heard about uh the artist Pop Smoke. Mm -mm. Yeah, he he's uh he was you know bubbling up and coming. I think this was gonna be his year to like really pop I just did uh DJ this uh event in Virginia. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I hadn't really heard of him. Like, you know, so many new artists it's hard to keep up. And that's all they kept requesting, requesting, requesting. So during my gig, they requested it so much I had to download it and Rocking, they was they went nuts to him. What? And yes, uh, matter of fact, this morning or or, or last night, yeah, man. What this, happened to him? Home invasion. God. I'm LA. Twenty years old. God. Twenty years old, man. So, I just you know I I employ all of us to really when we talk about sticking together, and we got to stop killing each other, man. Yeah, we need to, man. Got to stop killing each other. Stop being jealous of each other. Stop being hateful of each other. And Love each other, man. We, we've known each other sh the better part of 15, 20 years. Easily. And it's always been all love, man. And he keeps nothing but, but love. He don't walk around with, you know, security and big, you know. Mm -mm. It's all love, man. You don't In have my to be city, that way. And I ain't walking around with no security in no, no city. No, Because, you know, I no. look at it like this. I treat folk how I want to get treated. That's right. You know, I, I right. don't play Hollywood with nobody. And nope. I don't, don't want nope. you to play Hollywood with nope. me. I ain't about to play Boga Humphrey Bogart mm -hmm. with nobody, so don't be Bogarting with me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and that's just really been the energy that I've been receiving throughout my whole career, which I'm very thankful. I was mm -hmm. telling my wife, I said, you know what? 
you know, a lot of people want to be big mega stars and all that stuff. I said, but I can't see myself walking around with some security guard every day, mm -hmm. walking around with mm -hmm. somebody like they got to mm -hmm. be a part of my life. I just right. don't want to live, want to live right. like that. I want to be there. Right. But me and my wife want to slip out and go to a nice little bar like this and eat and have a nice drink or something. We ain't should no, be able to no do smoke. that. Just, yeah. just chill. Just chill yeah. without a whole bunch of hoopla. So I'm yeah. very thankful in the position I'm in. Y'all artists out there, any up and coming artists, be careful of what you ask for or mm. be ready for what you ask for. That's mm -hmm. a better statement. Mm -hmm. You know, you want this life, you want that success overnight or that major success, you know, throughout the world. I want everybody to look at you, know who you are. But just know what come along with that type stuff. You That's know, right. your privacy is gone. That's right. Everybody want to pick. Everybody want to talk to you. You about to take a bite of your food. Excuse me, can I get a picture? Right, right, right. Can't even, right. Okay. Right. You know, <laughs> come right. on, let's do it. Hey, can yeah. I get one too? Hey, can I get one? Hey, can I hey, get yeah. it? You know, yeah. it's, it can get like that, you know. Oh, so, yeah. like oh, I say, yeah. I'm just very thankful. It's been like, I haven't seen that life too, mm -hmm. which is cool. Mm -hmm. you, you're appreciative. Of people that put you in those positions. That's right. It's just sometimes the the, the, the the timing, timing be a little bit off sometimes. The timing and you people know? have no respect for time. None. <laughs> not yours. No. It's about them, no. not you. Nah. You that's know? right. That's right. Well, I thought you was re reaching for the whiskey. Ooh, I, I will. You re okay. I just okay. like to get a little bit of this soil with my um, with my crunch well, wraps. Well, look, well, look. Since, since we talking about you know all kind of crazy shit, fuck it. I'm gonna ask some crazy questions. When the last fist fight you had? When the last fist fight you been in? <laughs> Damn. Ooh, my old ass. Man, the last time I physically got to fight with somebody. Man, it might have been almost at least 20 years ago, yeah. man. About yeah. 20 years ago, I can remember. So, so after, after uh, Soul Food came out? Yeah, it, it, was, during the, uh, it was during the tour. <laughs> I tell you exactly what happened too, man. Beat this motherfucker. When I say I beat his ass. Beat this joker ass like he didn't know it was coming. But he Why? deserved it. What happened? This is what happened, man. So <laughs> we were on tour with Fishbone, right? Yep. So okay. Fishbone was like, y'all, hey, yo, look. Yo, Angelo, you know Angelo with the left hand. So yeah. Angelo was like, look, after y'all go off stage, we're going to go out. We're going to crowd surf. We want y'all to come out and crowd surf with us. So I was already a little bit skeptic of that because this was our first tour. I'm uh -huh. like, man, these folk really don't know us mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. yet. You know, we getting there, but they know y'all. They don't really know us like that. Man, y'all, come on, Tebow. Come on, y'all. Just come on. So I'm like, well, all right, man. So they jump out in the crowd. As they'll jump out. So everybody picking him up. I mean, they'll do everything. You know, they'll move him up. Right, of course. Stand, right, right. stand him up, everything. Right. So he was like, come on, y'all. So we jump out. C jump, you know, Gip jump out. Kujo jump out. CeeLo was scared because he was like, he didn't know that they could catch <laughs> right. him. You know what I'm saying? So I was skinny and small, so I figured they was going to catch me. So I jump out. They caught me. But then it was like it was like they caught me, and then next thing I know, I was standing up on my two feet. Oh, so okay. I was like, damn, they done put my head down. So I said, <laughs> okay, cool. That was fun anyway. So I started walking backstage because our bus was backstage and all. Right, you know, right, everything. Right. We just yeah, came right. on the bus. That's right. I forgot my laminate. I didn't have my uh, laminate at that time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the security officer, he was a big dude, man. He, he was just buffed up like home over here. So he was like, hey, man, you ain't going to be able to come back here, man. You ain't got no laminate. I said, well. We was just on stage. I just, yeah, that's exactly what I said. Bro, I just performed. I said, Angela, the fishbone just brought us out the crowd. So I just, I left all my stuff back. Say, we were about to go chill out after the show. Right. But they made us come right. back and do right. the crowd. So, right. so I'm right. like, right. dude, please let me just go rest, man. I'm sweating. I'm tired. Please let me go. Dude was like, man, I, I can't let you back here if you ain't got. So I said, you know what? I'm mm -hmm. not in the mood to argue mm -hmm. with nobody. Mm -hmm. Bro, I walked all the way to the front of the, uh, he told me if I go to the front, out the front door, I could walk to the bus. So I walk out the front door. Right. It's gates up where you can't get You can't even get by, right. Right. right, of course. So I said, damn, he tricked me. So I came back, I'm mad now. So I came back, I said, hey man, I need to get to the bus, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need to get to the bus, bro. I'm tired of this, man. So my, my manager saw me going back and forth with the dude. Next thing I know, the big, it was a big security guard, mm -hmm. came, a real mm -hmm. tall, big mm -hmm. one. He came, he forklift me up in the air. Oh, and so, okay. And then it was still no fit. I, and I saw, no, he saw it in my eye, man. I was looking, I said, hey, man, put me down, bro. I said, man, let me go back right. to my right. bus, man. Right. I said, put me down, right. home. Right. Next right. thing I know, my, my security, I, I yeah, road man, he came woke on that, up. Yeah. And he was like, yo, man, <clears throat> please put him down. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? What did he say? Big T, he was a peacemaker. He was like, Please just put him down. 
and just let him go to the bus. This is Timo from Goody Mob. They just performed Goody Mob. Dude was like, man, I didn't know. I didn't know, man. So I said, man, I, I said, I was trying to tell you. Bow! Somebody popped me in the face. Oh, pit. no. Yeah, some, I mean, I, some snuck me. Out the clear blue style, they snuck me. So, man, I'm, And there was no, no reason to even do it at that point. He had to hit me, man, for no reason oh, at all. Oh, it's on. Dude, now caught on. me in the face. It's on. So, man, I'm talking about it was just something that went through my whole uh -huh, body, man. Uh -huh. When I started, like, this little shaking uh -huh, like this, it's uh -huh, over. Ain't no stopping. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. So he put me down, man. I walk off to the side. I could, I'm in disbelief. This sucker just, just punched me, man. So I look back at him. Dude, looking the kind of way, right? And they said, dude, you just hit Timo from Goody Mob. So the dude tried to walk off. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Too late now, Ain't, ain't no walking. So I, no walking. I said, come on. I, my partner was with me. I didn't know who I was with the dude. So I said, come on, man. Come with me, Rick. So, um, dude, that pretty Ricky. He's uh -huh. drunk. He's Rick, going to. He probably was ready. And pretty Rick was ready, he but probably was ready, pretty Ricky jumping up and down. So I said, "Hold on, Rick, before you do anything." <laughs> I said, "Hey, man, why you just punched me in my face, dude?" This, dude, before he could even get it, I'm just two pieces, it's three over. pieces, it's four over. pieces, five. I'm just that, all that, in that Popeyes. Face. I'm getting <laughs> that Popeyes. The biscuit. whole club, the whole club, just just rushed in on the dude, man. Next thing I know, the undercover police. I walk out because it wasn't nothing else yeah. for me to do. Right. They already right. got him, right. man. So I walk right. out. Right. All the cold police at me, hey, man, you want to press charges? That was the club owner that hit you. And I saw everything that just Whoa. went down. Oh. Yeah. Plot twist. The I club have. owner. The club owner, Cubby Bell, Chicago, could have been mine. Yeah. <laughs> what? But I let you keep it, homie. I let what? you have it because I don't want them problems. I'm good. That club probably ain't even open no more. It probably man. ain't even open, man. But yeah, man, Damn. it was a club at bad. I never forget that as long as I live. That's the last real fist to cuff I could really remember really being in, man. That was yeah. a good question. It's been you love, like that. You ain't never asked, had that question asked before. I done came close, <laughs> but I ain't, I ain't had to get physical with nobody, man. You ain't, never had, you ain't never had that question asked before. Too. I haven't. That's the first time. I got to say I that. Mean, you know what? For myself, <laughs> man. That was the last time you got to fight, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. That was an ignorant-ass question. Yeah, that was right on time, though. <laughs> that question, the ignorant. <laughs> man, listen, man. Oh, no. Listen, it's all good. Go ahead and answer it. Uh-uh. Tell me you're on the show. I don't know who that is. <laughs> that might be a bill collector or somebody. <laughs> I don't owe nobody now, but they folks be trying to call me out of the Clippers guy. So when you uh, first got started, any uh, influences? What, what was your musical influences? Man, my first musical influence, mm -hmm. I must say, with James Brown. Okay. My they, they, they got some crazy news out right now about, about the homie. What? Saying that um they're investigating that somebody might have murdered him. What? Yeah. Yeah. This is recent. That's crazy. There's somebody called me for Augusta. As soon as you say that. Uh-oh. Pick up. Hey, man. Yeah, we can put it on Who pause. Anyway. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now he talking about Monday. Hey, I ain't mad at that. He talking about buying I'm not property. mad at Let's go. that. Yes, yeah, um, man. So James Brown, you hadn't heard about it yet? You haven't heard about the investigation? I have not. Yeah, I have man. not. That's a, that's very surprising. Yeah. Well, How you like the spider roll? I like it. I like it with the cook. I, you know, I do raw sushi. So, Ooh, but yeah. You grown man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Lee. I don't think. What, what? Like, what do you eat raw? Like when you say raw sushi, like what do you? Salmon, uh, tuna. So it's not smoked tail. or nothing. No, nah, right? Is it smoked? It's some of it Seared. Some Seared, smoke, yeah. But when you look at it, it look. So it's technically cooked. Technically. But, it's but no, it's, yeah. You know, we like our food. Right. Cook, cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we like it cooked. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody want no no red in the hamburger when they get the uh, hamburger. No, like, What's no, that blood in here? No. Uh-uh, keep cooking it. I told you, triple well, well done. Yeah. I'm a hockey puck. <laughs> 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 give, me that, give me that hockey puck, please. Okay, if it ain't crunching when I bite down into it, I don't <laughs> own it. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast has went all the way left. We are, we are, we are talking about nothing. But you know what they're going to tune in? I believe it. <laughs> believe it. They're going to tune in. I'm telling y'all, man. This going this year is so meant to be for us. I, That's I, right. I'm praying that That's right. your podcast take off for man, you, man. God bless you. Your God career continues to Thank go you. upwards, man. Thank you. You've always extended a hand to us, and I really always, hope I live. Always, man. Listen, y'all my that, brothers, man. man. Always, yeah. man. Big up Thank the silver knife. Thank you. I Thank swear you. to God. Thank you. Yes, I mean that. Love you, man. I need you to hit that button too, man. Oh, which one? Yeah, there you go. Thank you, sir. What did. about this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. I need that, bro. We need that. That's my brother right here, man. That's Timo Goody. Get ready. He's got 
music coming out. Music. Goody Mob has new music. Yes, we do. They got the tour coming out. Yes, we do. Goody Mob 25. Yes, sir. Soul Food is 25 years. So w w let me explain that to Break a that bit down. too. So we have a 25 year anniversary album that will mm -hmm. be released this August mm. by Sony Classics. Come on now. So Sony on Classics now. owns our masters. We're not as fortunate as big time Master P and some of them mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. very smart businessmen with the We weren't that blessed to be able to own our masters. Mm. Okay. Wish okay. we could have. Y'all, y'all, y'all paving the way for these new cats to mm -hmm. make a lot of money, and that's awesome. Salute you. Yes. We was in a different yes. position at a different time. We had to take it how it came that's right. to us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But Sony owned our masters, so they're gonna re-release Soul Food with a couple of unreleased okay. records on okay. that record. Okay. Uh, in August, so that's gonna be like the the, the tour is gonna promote yes. the album yes. coming in August. Yes. Now, that's not the same as the Goody Mob album that we're putting out. Y'all recording instrument. something else. We recording another with, a, new with album. another label, an internet label that you can't speak yes, on. Yes. This is new music that's being recorded right now. Brand new music that's being recorded starting today. Nice. So we will have 2020 nice. music from Goody Mob coming in July. We got to turn okay. that record in. It will be released this July. I might need so to shoot y'all for that, man. You shoot y'all some beats, Timo. Please. Do. Now I'm gonna tell you. Beats real quick. The, the catch 22 with that situation is. Organized Noise brought that situation to us. Oh man, so we got some Organized Noise, so new beats. The the deal is with the internet company, Organized Noise is producing the whole track, the whole record. I'm not even mad at that. The whole record. I'm not mad at that at okay. all. Organized Noise got their hands all the way in this one, man. Yes, sir. So we so Ooh. happy and so thankful. They just got a big, I'm not mad you know, at all. new situation going on with them. And everything nice. which is awesome so I'm, I'm proud of them i'm proud of the situation yeah yeah that's awesome and man. i also started wow. writing on the good and mob movie too well let's go <sighs> yeah i just started writing the good and mob movie so this this 2020 so, right this 2020 killing it killing it already killing it dan studio been killing it now even more viral mm. that's what i'm talking about man Hey, tell her I need some of her followers, man. I need to get my, <laughs> and my subscribers up. Okay. <laughs> she got more than everybody in the building. Believe that. <laughs> Time two. Times two. Times two. Well, listen, man. You know I love you, brother. Love you too, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming on here. Thank you for Eating up all my food. Hey, man, it's good food, too, We're going to get some more, too. Hey, man, that's food. Thank we'll you. probably do another uh, whiskey off camera. Why not? Okay, well, hey, well, uh, you I know what? With that being now. said, uh, this is my first whiskey, your man, DJ Silver Night Party Fanatic. And that is Timo Goody. To the fullest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what brother. you think, man? Hey, man, that's awesome, bro. Yeah. Awesome, Yeah. Man. See, drink champs didn't feed y'all. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing bad I can say about drink champs. I like drink champs, man. Saucy.